a special chat with showrunner Eric Olson about the making of Marvel's Daredevil season three. In real life, my father ran operations for the Defense Intelligence Agency for a time. He was an intelligence official. So I'm very interested in spy kind of stories. I grew up around that world. And combining that with the comic book runs, all of that kind of went into the pot. And we came up with something that uh, has a lot of twists and turns and is hopefully really unpredictable. One of my guiding principles for season three was I didn't want to treat anybody like a sidekick. I wanted everybody to be the hero of their own story. By kind of applying that rule to all of the cast, we were able to go deeper, to really get into people's heads and why they behave the way that they behave. I wanted to, to flesh out some of the backstories of some of these characters, and those are all baked into the overall structure of the season, which is the story of different characters uh, grappling with the fears that hold them back. And that became kind of a like a, a guiding light for all of us in the writer's room. Like, what's Fisk afraid of? What's Matt afraid of? What's Karen afraid of? And, and that really, for me, gave us kind of the thematic resonance that allowed the show to go, to go deeper. One of the techniques that we used this season was, was something called deep point of view. And I had a rule where uh, the camera could only follow one of six characters. And you come into the scene with those characters in their point of view, and you leave the scene in their point of view. What it allowed us to do was really ground it, really make it feel real. When we got to an action sequence, I wanted it to have real emotional stakes. So I imposed rules in the writer's room and with the directors. We were never going to do an action sequence which was just um, there for having an action sequence's sake. We were going to learn something new about Matt's character or there were real stakes in the scene. He, he might lose a fight. In, in, in the best drama, for me, it's, it's better when you really don't know what's going to happen next. There are certain key uh, comic frames that you will recognize on the screen of season three. I mean, there's that iconic shot of Daredevil holding on to a crucifix on top of a church. But for people who have no familiarity with those comic runs, it, it will feel organic and natural. You won't even notice it. But there's all sorts of hidden Easter eggs this season. Uh, I'll be very curious to see which ones get by the audience because there's more than you think there are. We wanted to do something that was a little bit more hardcore. And I think we uh, ended up pulling that off. You'll judge, we'll see. Earth's Mightiest Show host Lorraine Sink here, reminding you that you can check out Marvel's Daredevil Season 3 now streaming only on Netflix. And look out for full episodes of Earth's Mightiest Show on Marvel.com, Marvel Social Media, and on the official Earth's Mightiest Show Facebook page, where you can get all of our latest updates, plus behind-the-scenes photos, Marvel news, hilarious comic panels, and lots more. I'll see you there. I'm Lorraine, and this is Marvel, your universe.